In recent days, we've been talking about the perfect complement to laser technology, metal bending. Today, we're going to put into practice the full force of laser combo. Cutting, bending, and welding metal. That's why we're going to create a product. We're going to create a metal and glass table and show you that it's as easy as assembling IKEA furniture, or at least we will try. The table we're building has a metal structure made from PTRS and a tempered glass top. That means we need precision cutting, accurate frame bending with the force of press, and most importantly, clean welding with the force of solder. Before cutting, let's take a look at the materials we're working with. PTR black steel, tempered glass, and 20 gauge black steel sheet. What gauge is this one, Santi? That one's 20 gauge, 2 inches by 1 inch. Got it. So, in this whole process, the logical order is cut the sheet first, then the PTR. Yes, that's right. We'll cut the table base first, then we'll cut the legs then bend and finally weld and install the glass. Let's begin with the first step. Let's circle back to cutting the 20 gauge black steel, turning off the guide light and hitting play. Done. Cutting. Now let's smoothly move the laser head out of the way so we can carefully extract our freshly cut table base. Here it is, and as you can see, we have the cut lines and fold guides for the Forza Press. Next up, we'll move on to cutting the two. To do that, we first need to use the software to command the laser head to switch over to the tube cutting attachment. Sandy is already working on it right now, setting everything up. And he's already sending the signal. Here we see the arrows. And now we see over there how the head is moving. Done. Time to load the PTR. Well, we've waxed, calibrated, and preloaded the two. We also ran a test to check parameters. It's all okay, time to cut. Sandy explained why the piece didn't fall and how the cut went. The thing is, if the piece had dropped all the way through, it would have shifted position, and that movement would have made it impossible for us to line it up correctly for the final cut. Oh, okay. Yes, so it's better to do a simple movement and then remove the pieces. We didn't complete the cut because the piece needs to be bent by hand. This is the space left to bend it by hand. This smart design was carefully created by our team of engineers. Here we have the first table leg. Spectacular! 
Well, now for the second stop in our Forza combo. The Forza Press Metal Bender. So here's the table base sheet. The metal panel we're going to use as the foundation for our table build. The bend, the first bend, as we can see here, these are uh, the bending guides. So let's go ahead with the first step of this second machine here with engineer Santiago. So how do we proceed now, Santiago? Okay, first, we'll start by configuring all the material parameters. In this case, we're working with 20 gauge black steel. I'll go ahead and set up the punch and die geometry in the system. If I'm using a different tool shape or setup, I can simply save those settings and reload them later. It's quick and convenient. Next, I'll define the bending angle. We need a clean 90 degree bend, and I'll also apply a small correction to make sure the final result is precise. And now we come to the backstops. They're key for correctly positioning the piece on the machine. That bend line we marked is exactly 78 millimeters from the edge. So I'll input that measurement here in the system and watch the stops adjust themselves automatically. There it is, all set. So now all we have to do is place the sheet against the stops and it's perfectly positioned for us to make the bend. Now, something I wanna point out, we're currently using manual mode, but right here, we can actually create our own custom programs so that the whole process runs automatically with all those parameters already preloaded, okay? Great. Perfect. If you'd like, we can also double check it with the protractor. Yep, it's exactly at 90 degrees. We can do the next one. Let's go ahead and bend the last lines now. So this part of the table is fully finished, okay? All right, we finished bending the first sheet. This will be the base of our table. Now, we're moving straight to the final step. The last machine in the process, the welding machine, which in this case is the Forza solder. Obviously, for welding, we need to wear our safety glasses to protect our eyes. And as always, the engineer will go first, and then <laughs> we'll continue with the welding process ourselves. Ever wondered what it's like to build something using the full Forza combo? Cutting, bending, and welding? Here's our answer, our test, our first metal table. Next step, painting and placing the tempered glass. We started by cutting the base sheet, then cut the PTR tubes with the tube accessory, bent the parts, and finally welded them. Even though we have some experience, you don't need to be an expert to do this. Santi, what was the hardest part of this process? Honestly, the machines are super intuitive. If you ever have questions, you can message our support team and they'll help you right away, whether it's for the vendor or the cutter. Really, it's just a few clicks and you're cutting. Yeah, for example, look, it really depends on your product, which die set you're going to use. Again, you don't need a lot of experience with this. You've got a team of engineers who can say, hey, load this into your controller here, and that's it. You're good to go. Yep. All right, next step then. Send this out for painting, and after that, install the glass to complete our Forza combo build table.
And if you want to learn more about our metal benders, check out this video.